Hey everyone, and welcome back to the channel. If you thought the AI race was heating up before, well, Meta just decided to pour gasoline on the fire. They've unveiled their brand new large language model architecture, and folks, it's a game changer. We're talking about Llama 4. For months, the tech world has been buzzing about what Meta would do next to challenge the giants like OpenAI and Google. With Llama 3 making serious waves, the expectations for its successor were sky high. And from what we're seeing, Llama 4 isn't just an iteration, it's a revolution in how these massive AI models are built and what they can do. Today, we're going deep. We'll unpack the core architectural innovations, explore the different models in the Llama 4 herd, and discuss why this release could reshape the future of AI, AI as we know it. Get ready, because this is big. So what's the magic behind Llama 4? One of the headline features is its mixture of experts architecture, or MOE for short. Now, if you're not familiar, think of it like this. Instead of having one giant brain trying to know everything perfectly, an MOE model has a team of specialized experts and each expert is really good at certain types of tasks say one for coding another for creative writing one for scientific reasoning and so on when you give the model a prompt a smart router within the llama 4 system analyzes it and sends it to the most relevant expert or combination of experts this is, this is incredibly efficient instead of firing up the entire massive model for every single query, Llama 4 only activates the necessary parts. Meta's Llama 4. Maverick, for instance, has around 17 billion active parameters, but a whopping 400 billion total parameters across 128 experts. The smaller Llama 4 Scout also has 17 billion active parameters, but with 16 experts and 109 billion total parameters. What does this mean for you and me? Two main things, speed and efficiency. MoEE models can be trained faster and require less computational power during inference. That's when the AI is actually generating a response. This makes powerful AI uh, give from, uh, more accessible and potentially more sustainable. It's a clever way to get massive model capabilities without the full massive model cost for every task. But Meta didn't stop there. Llama 4 isn't just about text anymore. This new architecture is natively multimodal. We've seen multimodal AI before, models that can understand images or audio. But Llama 4 has been designed from the ground up with multimodality at its core. It uses something called early fusion to seamlessly integrate text, image, and even video data into a single unified model backbone. This is a big leap. Previously, you might have had separate models for vision and language that were then sort of stitched together with Llama 4. All its parameters are trained to understand these different types of data together right from the start. Meta even improved its vision encoder, building on their Meta Clip technology to work even better within this LLM framework. Imagine an AI that can look at a complex diagram in a research paper, understand the visual information, and then write a textual summary or answer intricate questions about it. Or an AI that can watch a video clip and generate a detailed description, identify objects, and even understand the actions taking place. This opens up a universe of new applications from hyper-realistic content creation to incredibly intuitive AI assistance. Now let's talk about something that often limits LLM's context window. That's the amount of information the model can remember or consider at any given time when processing your request or having a conversation. Llama 3 already had a decent context window. But Llama 4 Scout, get ready for this. It supports an industry-leading 10 million tokens. 
To put that into perspective, the Llama 3 models were around 128,000 tokens. This is a monumental increase. With a 10 million token context window, Llama 4 Scout can process and reason over vast amounts of information, entire books, massive code bases, extensive research papers, or incredibly long conversations. Think about summarizing multiple lengthy documents at once or having an AI assistant that remembers the entire history of your complex project. How are they achieving this? Part of the innovation lies in what Meta is calling the IROP architecture. The I stands for interleaved attention layers, and the ROPE refers to rotary position embeddings, a technique for helping models understand the order of words. Essentially, they're using interleaved attention layers without traditional positional embeddings in some parts with the long-term goal of supporting what they hint at as potentially infinite context length. This is cutting-edge stuff that allows the model to handle such enormous sequences of data efficiently. Meta isn't releasing just one Llama for model. They've introduced a herd, each with its own strengths. We've already mentioned uh, Llama 4 Scout, the king of context with its 10 million token window, 17 billion active parameters, 16 experts, and 109 billion total parameters. This model is built for tasks requiring deep understanding of very long inputs. Then there's Llama 4 Maverick. This is positioned as a high-performance general-purpose multimodal model. It also has 17 billion active parameters, but boasts 128 experts and a total of 400 billion parameters. Meta claims Maverick is already outperforming comparable models like GPT-40 and Google's Gemini 2 point on a range of benchmarks, including coding, reasoning, multilingual tasks, long context, and image understanding that's a bold claim, and the herd is still growing. Meta has also teased Llama 4 Behemoth, which is still in development. The numbers here are staggering. An expected 288 billion active parameters, 16 experts, and nearly 2 trillion total parameters. This beast is being designed to be one of the smartest LLMs ever and will likely help train future models. They've also hinted at a Llama 4 reasoning model specifically focused on complex problem solving. Powering these incredible capabilities is a new training technique Meta calls MetaP, which allows them to reliably set critical model hyperparameters. They've also implemented a continuous online reinforcement learning strategy where the model is used to filter and retain challenging prompts, further refining its accuracy and efficiency. And true to its roots, Meta is keeping Llama 4 open source. This is a crucial point. By making these powerful models available to researchers, developers, and businesses worldwide, Meta is fostering innovation across the entire AI ecosystem. It allows for greater scrutiny, faster improvements, and a democratization of AI technology. Mark Zuckerberg has been very vocal about open source AI leading the way, and Llama 4 is a massive statement in that direction. So, what does all this mean? Meta's Llama 4 architecture, with its mixture of experts, native multimodality, massive context windows, and open source approach, is set to make some serious waves. It promises more efficient, more capable, and more versatile AI. We're likely to see a surge in new applications that can leverage Llama 4's ability to understand complex, long-form content across different modalities. From supercharged research assistants and creative tools to more intuitive and helpful eye integrated into the apps we use every day, the possibilities are vast. Of course, there will be challenges. Hosting 
MOE models, even if more efficient at inference, can still be demanding due to their total size, ensuring safety and mitigating misuse with such powerful open source models also remains a critical ongoing effort and Meta highlights their commitment to responsible AI practices. But the direction is clear. Meta is not just competing. It's aiming to redefine the frontier of large language models. Lama 4 is a testament to their ambition and a significant gift to the open source community. What are your thoughts on Meta's Lama 4? Are you excited about the mixture of experts architecture or the 10 million token context window? Let me know in the comments below. Don't forget to like this video, subscribe for more deep dives into the latest AI tech and hit that notification bell so you don't miss our next update. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.